This clip is intended to show how you can use Atlas in the data migration phase of your Microsoft Dynamics AX implementation. It is accompanied by a user guide and a set of templates, meaning you can get on with the business getting AX going sooner. Let's take a look at what is to be loaded, in what order and how it will be verified. Main tables include currencies and exchange rates, main accounts, financial dimensions. Beginning balances includes prior year's closing balances, period movements and ledger budgets. Finally, reconciliation includes verification based on key reports, like a trial balance. We start with main tables or master data. The main elements to load include currency and exchange rates, main accounts including total definitions, financial dimensions including custom dimensions. Here you see the currency template. It has two elements to it, currency pairs and exchange rates per pair per day. Because these templates need to be loaded in a particular order, I have created a batch job which handles the sequence. Select the batch tasks button from the ribbon and then choose the append batch job. Success! Having done the currency and exchange rates, we now load the main accounts. Main accounts describe the posting and total accounts we use in the chart of accounts. This template allows us to define all account types and allocate each with appropriate settings. For each total account, we can also define the posting account ranges that accumulate into that total. On the total sheet, enter ranges that describe the posting account ranges used for aggregation. To load these accounts, use the table Append function and to load the total account definitions, use the Batch function. Table Append is selected from the ribbon. Success! Then use Batch Append Total Accounts. Success! Final stage is to load the financial dimensions. This workbook allows you to load standard and custom financial dimensions. Create entries in the appropriate list and when ready, load them using the append function. I'll load the vehicles and business unit dimensions now. Here you can see a list of vehicles. I'm adding an additional item. Using the table append function, These 16 items are loaded successfully. Business units are organised by state. Here I'm adding an additional state, New South Wales. Again, use the table append function. Success! 